Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back for yet another Saturday stream. Uh, we're going to be playing some Eleanor today, and hopefully not being terrible. That would be, you know, that's that's kind of the goal, but I suppose we shall see. But uh, who do we have in chat here today? Well, we got quite a few people. Hello, Epic Gamer. Hello, Gabriel. Hello, Heather. Hello, Guantes. Hello, Philip. Uh, hey, Cyruscus. <laughs> also, I liked your comment of you can't spell Eleanor without an L. Well, we haven't lost yet, but you never know. I mean, I'm sure I'll probably just rage all day today. Maybe not. Hey, Melon Kings. Hello, Octama. Hello, Sadu. Hello, Angus. Hello, Ardian. Hello, Daniel. Now, so whoever said that I need theme music... Oh, Mike. Hello, Mike. Also, I forgot to say hi to Mike. Um, but whoever said that I need to get theme music for the intro, I really do. I just need to find non-copyrighted, like, I don't know, something or other. Oh, jeez. Now I just got blasted with the freaking Civ music. Um, I think we're going to play on Continents and Islands today, which is a map type if I could find it. Am I just... There it is. And we're going to be going standard size. What the heck? We'll go more disaster intensity, right? Or should we not? Nah, what the heck? We'll go three. Nah, we'll still play two. My saxophone cover. I guess I could make it the saxophone cover, but at the same time, I don't know. Rome, that was a perfect game. Yeah, I mean, it was all right. Also, I guess you probably can't see Civ right now, can you? I should probably... Wait, you know, you should be able to see Civ. Of life oh, it's water. because I have my <laughs> my, my uh, preview thing paused. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Talk to Trolden, see now if he knows who's Trolden. I don't even know who that is. From this early of but yeah, like if I could get some like nice non-copyrighted <laughs> background music, I think that would be good. Regent of two lands. Patron of troubadours and judge of the court of mm -hmm. love. Ascend Oops. your throne again. Inspire the hearts of Am I going to peacefully conquer the world? I suppose we'll see here. I mean, this is a good spawn. So that's at least something. So far, so good. I'll give it three turns until we're killed by somebody. But What happens if you achieve two victory co conditions at one turn? Do you randomly win with one of them? Probably. It probably is whichever one happens first in, like in the game's calculations, because I would assume that the game checks for a victory type every, like, you know, at the beginning of every turn, so it's probably whichever one it's coded in to check for first is probably the one you win. <laughs> hopefully she'll be one of the AIs. What, Wilhelmina? Yeah, hopefully. Maybe we'll see. I do need to find some, uh, some coastline, though, because I am playing, uh, Culture Civ. Coastline's always good for getting you those nice seaside resorts. I do have mountains, though, which means I can get, uh... I think that's coastline right there. But I do have mountains, which means I can get ski resorts, which is nice. Wait, we need restarts. Hey, 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 don't... Don't, don't wish for restarts. Seven girls were chased oh, by Beth. Another holy, uh... Religious city-state. And we are the first meet on them as well. Hey, Bobsterfest. So recently, I, uh, I I recorded a game as Canadia to uh, to do a gameplay and analysis of, and man, diplomatic victory is just <laughs> I don't, I don't enjoy diplomatic victory. It's just your... not like I don't know. It just doesn't feel like a fun way to play Civ. Man, do we get a religion today? Should we get a religion? We have these two freaking like city states here. What the heck? Let's get a religion. Why not? We actually now have three city-states. Hey, Nico. There's now barbarians also that are here. Mm -hmm. Rivers and hills is super nice. Nobody enjoys diplomatic victory. Yeah, like, I, I wish that they would do something to it to make it, like, less terrible. <laughs> it's not even that it's necessarily, like, terrible, terrible, but, like, it's definitely really not that fun. All right, do we take religious settlements or do we take divine spark? Because, like, divine spark is, like, pretty baller on, uh... On Eleanor. I feel like we take Divine Spark, right? Potato changed his mind last week about Diplo. Did he previously like it and now he doesn't? Or does did he previously not like it and now he does? Also, what do we get? Do we get Religious Settlements or do we take Divine Spark? I feel like we get Divine Spark. Because we don't have it. We're not really in a rush to get out Settlers right now. Because we haven't met anybody yet, so... What is a religion good for? So whenever you go for a culture victory, getting a religion can be helpful just because you need all that faith to purchase, uh, like, naturalists or uh, rock bands now. 
So that's really the only reason. Normally I'm not a big advocate of religion and culture because it's a very, very slow start. But like in a game like this where there's nobody near us, I don't think, well, I mean, there is somebody near us. It's Christina though, so. Duh. But yeah, oh, this is like prime seaside resort land over there. Georgia getting a religion is helpful because then you can take back the Holy Lands. You know, you've got a point. Right, who else needs orders? Oh, this guy still has movement. Oh, I was really hoping that they were going to move that <laughs> that guy by himself. Boosted the wheel. So religion is not needed for science? No, not at all, really. Like, honestly, the only time I would ever go religion with science is whenever you're playing Saladin. Aside from that, there's really just not much of a point to it, honestly. Let's see if there's anybody south of us. Then we the web oh. The okay. I want to kind of like secure at least like half of this continent here. So this is probably going to be a pretty a pretty settler spammy game. I would assume. <laughs> oh, do we actually even want a religion? I don't even know if we need the religion itself, do we? Ah, what the heck, right? Um, where do we put the holy site? I think we just put the holy site here. Yeah, sure. Let's let's get a religion. Let's get a religion. I had I had second thoughts there for a second, but now I'm kind of back to like, all right, let's just do it. Um, it's over there, another city state. So let's plop a city. I want to get as close over here. So I'll probably put a city, honestly, right here. So then that allows me to grab most of these tiles. I'm definitely gonna put a city. I don't know, probably like here-ish. Well, if I'm gonna go down there, I might as well take the very end one. And then one, two, three, four. I'll definitely put one over here, maybe on the hill. It just doesn't have to be that hill, does it? It could be this hill. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. So another one up here. One, two, three, four, five. I'll put one up here. That way I get that wonder there. One, two, three, four. Probably one in there. One, two, three, four. I might go five on this one. Maybe not, though. So maybe I'll do that, and then one, two, three, four. Hmm. I, I kind of like this spot right here, honestly. I can go that one, though. That's pretty much equally good. So now the question is, which one do we settle first? I think we settle this one first. You can already see some crazy industrial zones. Yeah, there's there's a lot of potential in this land that we have here. Hopefully, I wonder if anybody's met the city state yet. Yeah, okay, somebody has. So somebody's probably south of us. Is what that means. Did someone say Germany? No, don't say Germany yet, Cyruscus. Um, let's also be careful with this guy. I don't want to lose my settler to the barbarians because I think I don't I can't tell that guy might have had his camp taken So I don't want to move next to him. Okay, he can't take us if we go here and we can settle so How are we looking so Sweden is getting a religion Which I guess it's not really like a big deal, but just something to consider. And there we go, second city down. Let's just get another holy site out. Hmm. I guess we'll put it there. Okay, so there, wait, isn't that Sweden? Or is this Alexander? Hey, Reagan Smash, thanks for becoming a member to the channel and welcome on in. Spam those uh, Christina emotes. Yeah, there you go, Cyruscus, hitting up the Christina emotes. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the support, though. And enjoy all the new emotes that you have. And uh, if you want to become or if you want to be put into the, you know, given the members role on the Discord, um, just let me know what your 
Discord... What is it? I guess it's Discord username, right? Your Discord thingy is. <laughs> and I will make you a member. Flashbacks to 1876. Uh -oh. What happened in 1876? Is it not good? I assume it's not good. Every nation lives... Alright, lots of really good land here. So where can we settle? Hmm, interesting. So I feel like I want a city there. Can I settle two down here? One, two, three, four. I definitely could. I mean, obviously, like, the ideal would be to go all the way out here. But that might be a little risky. We'll see. And the problem is, since we are going for religion as well, as I've mentioned, it makes it so that everything is really slow, and we need to get out settlers, but we also need to get a religion, so, like, a bit of conflict of interest here. What are the game settings? Uh, we're playing on continents and islands, uh, deity difficulty, uh, standard map size, whatever the default number of AI are on standard size, so... <laughs> You love this channel, so many good information about a game you love. Uh, I'm glad you like the channel, man. And I appreciate it. If this barbarian pillages my holy site, I'm actually gonna uninstall this game. Okay, good, he didn't. Oh, that's right, I already have two Ray Prophet points per turn since I have a uh, Divine Spark. So that might make it so that we don't necessarily even have to spam Holy Sight projects. We probably still should at least once. We should probably do at least one round in the capital. Am I going to attack Sweden? Or am I going to stay peaceful as I get a religion? Yeah, I'm going to stay peaceful since I'm getting a religion. Because, like, that's a bit of a stretch to go and try to attack someone while also getting out a lot of settlers while also getting a religion. Like, that's, you know, it's too much multitasking. And we got early empire, and I really do want early empire. Alexander's a little mad that I'm not fighting for my people, but you know what? He can suck eggs. So I think this we're going to settle these two cities first. Because, like, these cities, there's really no hurry to settle them. Because there's not really as much competition. But these ones are, like, the ones that are close to other people. So there's competition. If there are no dogs. So, like, the game plan on uh, Eleanor is kind of just, like... You play pretty chill early on. Let's build another Slinger. But you play pretty chill early on, um, and then you get attacked by Christina. <laughs> I think. I think I'm gonna get attacked by Christina. <laughs> uh, but you play pretty chill early on, and then you just spam out a bunch of theater squares. And then you get a ton of great works, and then you just kind of end up dominating people because they just... Because uh, of the loyalty flipping. Alright, she is definitely gonna come declare war on me. We've gotten a religion already, though. So, of course, we're going to go with the one and only Snippy Snippy. And let's take Choral Music. So this is going to be like a mostly internal religion, I think. Um, and I think we might actually take Defender of the Faith. So we're probably going to go for Lay Ministry as well. But I think for right now, we want Defender of the Faith just because, you know what I would like to not do? Die. And you know what makes it really easy to not die? Defender of the Faith. See, look, now I've been attacked. Thanks, Christina, you jerk. And we can just get some more slingers. I'm really not terribly concerned, because we have both Defender of the Faith, and this is a pretty decent, like, defensible position. And we're about to get archers in one turn, so, like, that's also pretty good. Let's get exits of the evangelists. So, obviously, we're not going to go settle over there right now. We might settle down here right now, though. As long as Alexander's not also coming to kill me. 
I now have the power of this. Uh, yeah, I, I, I now have full potential snipping power. Alright, so let's switch to... We don't have actually the one that I want to switch to, which is kind of a bummer. Um, for right now, we're going to leave this. Does this guy get a promotion? Not yet. That's kind of sucks. Alright, I don't want him to die, so I'm just going to move him out. Doesn't look like Alexander's trying to declare war on me right now. Looks like he just has that one unit, so. I won't worry too much. Um, I think we want Pingala. So, like, normally I would go Magnus for settler spamming, but, like, I kind of actually really like Pingala nowadays. Alright, and these guys all just moved over, like, one tile, so who cares? Let's also get this guy actually back in the city borders. Maybe this will make Alexander like us, though, since we're fighting for our people. <laughs> you know, that's something, right? This guy can just heal up. It's not really anything. We can't really go on, like, the offensive at all here. And this guy's probably just going to get his warriors killed by trying to attack me, so... Now we can settle. Oh, hang on. I'm not maybe not going to settle that just yet. Oh, we are also getting really close to dying here. This is maybe a little bit close for comfort. Uh, so let's get our promotions. When in doubt, I can always save scum. So, <laughs> As I tend to do, you know. Um, let's see what Alexander's thinking about doing here. So I feel as though he's not... Oh, uh, well, this might be a little bit problematic. <laughs> I really hope that that guy doesn't have enough combat strength to take the city. Ah, oh, god dang it, he does. Okay, well... Let's save scum. Man, I really thought that we would just be able to defend that, but I guess not. Oh, you can't stay today, Cyruscus. Where are we on the integral of restarts times the export X goes from 1 to infinity? Um, so this is actually only... We haven't restarted at all. This is only our first save scum as well, so... I mean, really. We're doing pretty good. You know, all in all. All, all, all things considered. Epic Gamers is... Bruh! What? From this early cradle of civilization. See, like, whenever I record or play by myself, like, normally I wouldn't restart for something like this, but whenever I'm on stream, I don't want to just suck on stream the whole time. I'm telling you, like, literally, I'm not even joking when I say this, but whenever you play a game on stream, your IQ goes down by at least 30 points. Okay, so that guy has killed himself. We still have the same issue over here. That guy has also killed himself. I can't remember if he did that last time or not. Now the question becomes, can we kill this guy? The answer is maybe no. I'm actually also going to do this. Just because that'll make that guy heal a little bit more. Should I settle this? I feel like I'm just going to get attacked by Alexander if I settle that right now. Okay, so that was a much better outcome. So, like, we lost our warrior, but really, who cares? Because you know what we're not going to lose now? The city. Well, I, <laughs> I don't want to speak too soon, but <laughs> I don't believe we're going to lose the city, I should say. Because now we have these guys with promotions. And we're about to get another archer in one turn as well. This guy's mad because of something Sometimes about exploring or some garbage. Alright, so now we can change to that. We can also probably change to that as well. Because if this guy manages to get through all my stuff with, you know, all these archers, then, you know, kudos to him. Alright, I'm settling here. You can eat feces, sir. I would say the other thing that I'm thinking, but, you know, don't want to get demonetized. 
I'm also losing a lot of gold per turn right now, which obviously, you know, it's not a good thing. I'm actually going to move this archer down here towards this city, just in case. Oh, wow. All right, so Alexander settles there. I mean, like, it's really not that bad. Oh, he wants horses for five gold per turn. I'll take five gold per turn, definitely. Oh, well, now we have uh, a less friendly individual who's coming to visit. Being one of those horse lads. A lad on horseback. Well, there are still quite a few of Alexander's units there. Which doesn't give me the most warm of feelings. Hopefully, hopefully he goes and attacks Bondar Brunei and not me. So, I mean, really what we could do right now is we can just convert him to our religion. Get a load of arrow score from that. He does have his unique units and stuff already as well, which is, like, kind of spooky. Is he getting a religion? No. Looks like everybody that has a religion, or that wants a religion, is going to have one. <laughs> Hello, Cree. A strong economy begins with a strong... Finally caught me live, big fan. Got you into the Civ franchise. Oh, I'm glad you could, uh, finally catch things live. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Let's take us some political philosophy. Let's get Researcher on Magnus. Keep our science up at least a little bit. So we might actually settle over here now instead. Just so we can take advantage of some more of this good land. I think first, though, I'm going to come settle up here. Oh, now we get the good old Cree music. Let's go. Good to see your favorite leader. Oh, really? Eleanor's your favorite leader. I have to be careful that I uh, don't run into any Swedish troops or anything with my settler here. She wants to make peace? I'll make peace. What the heck? I'm not holding grudges this game. Alexander has conquered Bondar Brunei. What a jerk. I have to be careful with this guy. Just because I don't want him to get taken by that barbarian. Oh, okay. Well, that was a bit of a misclick. I wanted him to go this way, but watch him get... If he gets taken, I'll be... Okay, he's not going to get taken, but... So the Barbarians now have Swordsmen, and I don't, so that's not exactly good. Um, I should definitely get a Campus down. Because if I end up falling too far behind in Science, either I'm gonna just going to get roasted by Alexander, who's already at 38 compared to my 13, or, you know, I'm going to get overwhelmed by Barbarians or some garbage. Yeah, so whenever I say that, you know, like, this is a really slow way to play the game, this is, hang on, actually, I might as well move this over one, right? Is it really going to make any difference? Not really. Oh, Sweden settled all the way up there, too? What the heck, Sweden? Yeah, I'm going to move this over one. That way I can take a little bit more of this land over here. This land is my land. This land is your land. Except not really. It's just mine. Poundmaker wants my horses. I'll give him my horses. I'm also going to do this. Just a meme. <laughs> I'm going to buy the other one maybe too. So we had a big flood there. Oh, uh, it appears as though Alexander does have a few units that are maybe walking my way. I don't think he's going to try anything, but I don't really know for certain, so... I'm gonna put a goge back into the into the mix just in case he tries to be a little cheeky. I, like to say I, I mean, I do have a good number of uh, archers at least at this point, so I guess we send. What's Candy's? 
Candies is pretty terrible. That's also pretty bad, though. We're just gonna put envoys in Auckland. At the same time, though, let's put one in Leventa just so we can become their suzerain. It gets us a little bit of diplomatic favor. And now Alexander the Killer's War on me. And I think we're probably just dead, not gonna lie. Bronze. Because Alexander, unfortunately, right now has, um... Yeah, he's got, like, horse lads. He has horse people. And he also has, um... Swordsman. And I really just don't think we can compete with that. I'll just spam out as many archers as I possibly can, but... <laughs> one? Wait, one, two, okay, never mind. Hang on, though, actually. We could technically get a... We could squeeze another city in here, right? We move this guy down here. City, and then one, two, three, four, five. So we could technically... One, two, three, four. Do that. Which, we'll do that. Getting one more city is always kind of, like, better. <laughs> so as you can see, we obviously don't do very much damage to most of these guys. We might actually not be, like, totally dead, though. I mean, obviously, like, that hurts the capital, but it's just a catapult by itself, so it's not really going to do much, like, in the long run. Now this is where things start to get a little bit dicey, though. Because now we have this man, who is a swordsman. And one of Alexander's special swordsmen. Oh, there goes Auckland as well. Well, rip Auckland. You tried your best, Auckland. You really did. Swap these guys, because this guy, yeah, he does... He actually does a decent bit of damage there. I'm just going to try to get more faith on my holy sites right now, I think. Get Garrison on this guy. I guess luckily I do have Defender of the Faith as well, don't I? So, we actually might not even be dead. Look at this, guys. Is this even real? Saxy, not dead. Gets war declared on him twice in a single game and he doesn't die or quit yet. Candy is so good with Eleanor though. Relics count as great works for loyalty pressure? Yeah, I mean still, how are you gonna get relics though? Because you still have to get relics for something. Oh, never mind, that's right. You do actually get relics from things. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe it's not bad. Yeah, okay, see, so actually, you know, I said maybe we're not dead, but I might retract that statement and say maybe we, in fact, are dead. It's hard to tell, though. <laughs> okay, that hurt, but, like, not that bad, actually. We can kill this guy, too. I don't know what this catapult is doing, because he can't actually hit anything. <laughs> Build walls immediately. Oh, that's right, we did just finish the, the tech for walls. Yeah, let's switch to uh, getting us some walls. Luckily, we have pretty defensible terrain here as well. So that definitely helps us quite a bit. It looks like Sweden might want to come declare war on me again, too, so that's also fun. Sweden, please don't. This is literally like deity in a nutshell. Just getting roasted from two different angles by the AI, who just really, really want to declare war on you, and you don't really know why. And I don't, I don't think they even know why, but they just really want to do it. They're like, man, you know what would be great? If we just declare war on this guy. We just ruin this guy's game. Alright, well, we still just need more settlers, so... More settlers is what we shall acquire. We don't have anything up here to deal with this guy, so we should probably get an, get an archer. Put one more turn into iron working, and then we'll switch it. Let's take out his crossbowman. That way, it doesn't kill my archers. And look at this. Not only are we fending off the attackers, we're even settling new cities right now. 
because we are that alpha. <laughs> Does Christina look like the face of someone who cares? No, only the face of death. This is true. Christina cares not for my health and well-being. But only that I die swiftly. Um, well, I guess we prioritize the catapult? Question mark? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because catapult's not going to do too much to us right now. Because we don't have walls to lose anyways, so... Well, we got a flood that fertilized one tile. Get some fresh unit XP over here. Let's get Theology. And convert that guy to the old snippy snippy. And now we're into the medieval era, except we're not in a golden age, are we? No, we're not. That's kind of a bummer. We're also losing a lot of loyalty in that city. So, I mean, like, I guess it's close to Alexander City, so maybe it's not that much of a surprise, but at the same time, it's kind of a surprise. You can always reassign Pingala, though. It's not really that big of a deal. <laughs> Oh, yes, let's go snippy snippy. And let's also go range, since we have about 3 million of those. Did we win? Yeah, oh, well, we Everything lost the other one. We got the snippy snippy combat strength, though. Which sounds kind of funny, but... Getting all kinds of unit promotions, which is pretty dope. Anybody think that we can go and... Ah, oh, there we go. There's the other uh, declaration of war. It's just what I wanted. How'd they know? I'm not fighting that. Yeah, so unfortunately this might be, like, GG. Because at this point we have... Our troops are kind of spread thin. Which obviously, you know, is not a good thing. I guess I can send this guy back. I don't know how long we can honestly survive, though. Like, even this stupid skirmisher does quite a bit of damage there. And once these other swordsmen get in, that's just gonna be ouch time. Yeah, so as I mentioned before, you know, religion, culture, it's a very slow way to play. You're kind of seeing that right now. Because it takes so long to do pretty much everything when you go religion culture. So you end up in situations like this, where you're just getting attacked from 12 angles. And you really just have no idea what to do. Are we at war with uh, Laventa? So yeah, this city is pretty much just totally roasted. I didn't send delegation to AI on the first turn. Sometimes it delays war. Yeah, I mean... This is true, but at the same time, I don't think it would have made a sizable difference. Because for the early, early wars, we were pretty fine. It's just now that, you know, we're a little bit later on now. We're just behind in techs now, and we can't keep up with their military technology. So all these wars are just really, really tough. Let's see if we can at least... No, we can't even do that. So amazingly, Laventa is not taking this city just yet. They're just waiting it out a little bit until they can pulverize it. And now Alexander has 3 million crossbowmen as well, which isn't helping our cause. So yeah, see, like, this is what I'm talking about with religion and culture. Like, he has 46 science. I only have 17. I mean, I guess Poundmaker has 17, so it's not terrible, but... Maybe I just got unlucky with who I spawned next to this game, but... It's a little bit slow. 
I'm gonna finish these walls though in one turn. Like honestly, it might not even be like the end end. If we can continue, like as long as we don't lose like cities, then I mean, yeah, this sucks. He has knights already. What the heck? That's a little bit oof. Oof size large. Okay, what we really need is crossbowmen right now. I mean, it doesn't really matter because we don't have any gold to be able to upgrade into them anyways. But if we had crossbowmen, this would at least be a little bit easier. I guess let's do this. Oh, we can trade with candy. That gets us some gold. Leventa will burn the city to the ground. Yeah, they definitely will if they take it. Which is why I'm just really hoping that they don't take it. Because, like, if they don't take it, then maybe we're okay. But see, look, we're just so far behind in text compared to everybody else, which is making this not easy. Oh, of course that didn't die. Oh, I don't want a granary. I want ancient walls, please. I wonder how badly our ancient walls will melt to these uh, these knights here. I would bet. I would bet that it's gonna be kind of a lot. Oh, this city actually might be screwed. He might come in. Oh, he's gonna cheeky breaky take the capital. Oh man. Man, we got played. They teamed up. Yeah, get ready. Here it comes. R.I.P. in Paris. You think I, I don't think I can peace Alexander right now. No, because he because he knows he's gonna get my capital next turn, so he doesn't he doesn't want to make peace. Honestly, I don't really want to continue this game anyways because it's just gonna be this like the whole game. Yeah, see. Now he really just doesn't care about anything. At the same time, though, I kind of do want to continue this game. Nah, let's just restart. Let's restart. And let's not go for a religion next time. That was stupid. I mean, honestly, if we didn't have to fight Christina as well, I think that we that we would have lived, like, perfectly fine there. But the fact that we had to fight two different wars at the same time, that really kind of, you know, that really kind of ruined us. Sometimes, though, just do be like that. your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Duchess of Aquitaine. By using any mods, I am not. Lands, patron of I'm not a very big mod user in general. Ascend your throne again. Um okay, that spawn kinda sucks. I like the last one. Give me the last one again, except take get rid of Alexander. And Christina, why not? Knowing them though, they'd give me Mvemba. Hey Defcat. From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the stone. The French are used to surrendering. <laughs> well, I mean, from a certain stance, you're not wrong. And before everybody in the chat would be like, well, technically the French have the best military record out of any country. Uh. And I don't know if that's true or not, because I ain't fact checking it, but. Come on. Everybody has to make fun of the French. I don't know why uh, I just got the, the moaning sound. but Alright, so like this isn't insane, but I think this is honestly like pretty okay. There's like decent production here on this spawn. Decent production. There's lots of flat coastline. There's some mountains over here. And that's like, that's kind of what you're looking for. Oh, we found Mexico City. Alright. Oh, goody hut. Um, I'm gonna build a builder. I normally don't advise that. Oh, never mind, it's Vemba. Which means next turn we're gonna get war declared on us. And he, oh, you stole our goody hut! Jerk. Yeah, so like the builder rush here is definitely like kinda ballsy. Oh, and he just he denounced me already. I mean I guess I didn't send him a delegation. Hang on. Let's actually let's 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 do an, a a study. I guess you can say. 
What turn did we meet him on? Did we meet him back here? Let's send him a delegation now and see if he still denounces me. French lost World War II because the French and British the tanks were too slow. Of life beneath water. They won World War II, they were allies. I mean, yeah, like... The Stone Age. I mean, I guess in the end they won the war, but <laughs> at first, France was definitely not winning the war. The only reason France ended up okay is because, you know, a few people helped them out. Remember whenever Paris was taken? That wasn't... It's, it's like what happened in that last game. They just rushed in and took the capital. Alright, so let's do that. Let's set him a delegation. And see if he'll still denounce me next turn. Oh, he hasn't done it yet, so like... So far, so good, I guess, right? Oh, now he's denounced it. So it, it delayed it by one turn. Hopefully he's not terribly close. I mean, so far, like, I don't see him, so... Palenque. Palenque's alright. Palenque's definitely not one of the better city-states. Alright. I'm not gonna go for the religion trap this game. Alright, so he's all the way up there. So we do have a good bit of space between him and I. I think I want to settle, like, here? One, two, three, four, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Hello, Suleiman. Whoop, I don't want to denounce you. I want to do that. Is it better to go faith and convert Congo or not? So, I mean, I guess that actually is a valid point. Especially, like, for this game. So we could maybe get something out of having a religion this game, but I still don't really want to do it, just because we need to get settlers out. And Congo already hates us, so that's not good. No goody huts around here, which is kind of disappointing. It is not wisdom. And they're already forward settling like a good bit here. But but the snippy. True, we all we all do love the snippy. However, it's just not you know. No snipping shall occur today. We can get down one of these as well. Eight turns for a settler? That's so pretty good. Oh, that thing. I forget what it does, but I think it's not bad. Actually, I think it is pretty bad. I don't think I've ever used that wonder. Effectively, I should say. That's the one that makes it so that wonders, right? Yeah, 50% pro production towards building wonders and districts in adjacent tiles. I mean, I, that's like not inconsequential. I'm fond of pigs. Let's also get this tile. This tile is a good tile. We're going to get it in two turns, so I'm not going to buy it. And let's get masonry, because you know what we would love to have against uh, the Congo? Walls. Cleopatra, what? Are you over here? Why are you over here? Should we attack the Congo? All in favor of attacking the Congo, say aye. Honestly, I think I might. I might just beat him up. Madam ki, militin hit. I'd bang Eleanor IRL. Um, okay. Thank you for sharing. I kind of want that city. You know what? I want that city. That's going to be my city. I've decided. So I have spoken. Settle the wonder. No, I'm not going to settle the wonder right now. I'm going to forward settle him and then beat him up. Because the easiest way to ensure that you don't get forward settled is to forward settle instead. Be the one doing the forward settling. It's a flawless plan. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. It's not like I'll lose the war and then start raging in about 30 minutes. <laughs> not at all. Never happens. I would never do that. That city sucks. Actually, I guess it's not that bad because they do at least, they are able to build an aqueduct over there. Skill without imagination. All right, so screw that. We want a goge. Give me a goge. Let's get some get some units out here. Almost lose my warrior. Watch him get attacked by the spearman. 
Okay, he didn't. <laughs> got, got a little nervous there because I was like, wait, shoot. Might have just killed that guy. How many restarts now? I think only two. Plus one reload. So I guess, like, maybe effectively three. Oh, this guy's almost dead. When wasteful war shall but maybe he won't be dead dead. Alright. If we just get enough warriors, studies show that we will be able to kill this man. Survey says... And you generally, whenever you're playing a culture game, you don't want to leave, like, someone like, uh, like him in this game. Sure, we'll take that trade, because we'll get some gold out of it. And then we'll use that to maybe buy things to kill him. But yeah, whenever you're playing a culture game, you don't want to leave people like the Congo in the game, because they'll just get 10 million culture per turn, and then it'll be very difficult for you to win. Obviously, the goal of culture is not to make it difficult for you to win, so... So, yeah. It's annoying on Deed is sometimes you'll get overrun by barbs. Oh my gosh. I was when I, I was trying to record a game the other day. Who was I playing? I think I was playing Persia. You know, still attempting to play Persia, which is a sieve that I, for whatever reason, just cannot play for the life of me. But man, it was, it was not going well. I must say. Alright, we're actually going to buy a slinger here. Honestly, like, I think we're about ready to declare. We're gonna take Divine Spark. And, like, I feel at least moderately confident that we can just kill this guy. Can we declare friendship with you? Oh, we can. Also, let me go check on the stuff that I'm defrosting real fast. I'll be back in, like, 30 seconds. Alright, chat. I'm back. <laughs> Do I favor Divine Spark over Religious Settlements? Um, normally, no. However, on someone like Eleanor, where you really, really benefit from having a lot of great works, then I think it can be better. Or like in this case, also, somebody had already taken Religious Settlements, so it's not like I had, you know, the most, the biggest choice. Let's get Pyramids. Place bets on how many turns until I lose this war as well. Six gold per turn for that, yeah. Hit me up. Give that guy a whack. That sounds dirty. Promise I'm not trying. Eighteen turns is your bet. Oh, a free settler! Look, what luck! All right. I mean, I guess let's just start swinging, right? Because the sooner we start swinging, the sooner we'll finish swinging. Whenever he's dead. Man, the fact that we got a free settler out of this is actually, like, super baller. So this guy's... that guy's probably just dead. Like, kind of no matter what. I mean, the city is also definitely dead no matter what next turn, though, so... I don't really care if that guy dies. 
And this kind of just really guarantees that it's dead next turn. And they actually didn't even kill this guy. <laughs> so, long story short, they're pretty dumb. Boom, we've done it. Alright, well, that guy's probably dead now. So here's the tough thing, though. We don't have any governors yet, and the city is going to rebel. I'm not... Oh, I didn't want a monument there. How bad are we on the loyalty pressure? Negative 13. Yeah, so that's like... That's pretty irreparable, I feel. <laughs> However, though, we might have just done enough damage to him already that it's not really going to matter. Because if he can't bring the resources to be able to, like, kill us, then it doesn't matter if we, like, lose the city to loyalty. Alright, we're both in a normal age, so who cares. And now we can go settle this wonder. So one, two, three, four. So honestly, if we settle, like, once here, and one, two, three, four, settle another one here, be there. So let's go settle this. That lad is probably just dead. Uh, we really need, like, a governor title. So with a governor title, like, this actually wouldn't even... We'd be able to hold this pretty decently. But unfortunately, we are not going to be able to do that. Swap these two. Swap those two. Upgrade you. Mr. Knowledge Bronze working. I guess that's alright. Can we swap these guys? We can, kind of. Alright, we're getting some promotions now, which is also really good. Getting close to the point where the city's gonna rebel, though. Yeah, we have two turns only. I bet we couldn't settle this city, like, literally one turn earlier. So now it's gonna rebel. And here it'll go. Okay, luckily we got to heal before it rebelled. Which, maybe that doesn't sound, like, important, but that's actually really important, because we... We did need that better healing for at least the one turn. I'm gonna send this guy back there so that way he heals a little faster. And I mean, the city's still under siege, so... We do want military tradition because it is important that we get the flanking and uh, support bonuses and things like that. So both of these guys actually got promotions, right? Oh no, this guy didn't. And these guys, we'll just use the uh, the archers to kind of deal with that. And of course, we will continue to produce warriors. I don't want my warriors to take damage, which is why I'm only using archers to hit right now. I would like to take that city as well, honestly. Like, ideally. You assume he won't make peace? Well, he actually, he, he would. But... I don't want to make peace right now. Okay, so another city settled. More more loyalty problems to be had. Honestly, I think we're probably just going to go and uh, try to take his capital here. At least relatively soon. Mm -hmm. So 
we take his capital, then that's like a pretty big, a pretty big step in the in the right direction, you know. Man, what hit this guy? Did I get hit from the city? I think I got hit from the city. So once again, take the city. I move this guy back just so he's okay on HP and stuff. Heal up all these guys. And I guess we're gonna take, or should we take Kawila next? Can't make peace right now because we're gonna have too many loyalty problems if we try that. We still have, once again, it's three turns until rebellion. I feel like we have to take Kawila next. Like, I feel like it's not gonna be. Like, nothing's gonna happen if we try to take one of the other cities. Like, we can't take his, ca his capital fast enough, especially since it's coastal. Yeah, this city's really good for Huayteo Kali. So once again, though, we unfortunately still only have, like, three turns until <laughs> Rebellion. Which is not ideal. I think is... Wait, is Egypt attacking him, too? That's actually pretty funny if they are. So one of our big problems here is the fact that we just have to move all these units so far. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to lose this city again. Which is like, I mean, really, it's pretty much okay. Just because we'll just be able to take it again. From the height hey, we finished the pyramids, huh? That's actually really good. So now we can get even more of that. And we can just continue to spam units. Let's move this guy over one tile. So we'll use all of these guys to just move up here around this city. Okay, eight more turns and then we finally will get a stupid governor title. We really need one. <laughs> We've gotten another warrior as well. This guy can move up, this guy can also move up. I'm gonna just hit this city a little bit. Somebody had a promotion, I thought. Maybe I'm just tripping them. Buying the monument, would it help? It would probably help a little bit. I don't know if it would be enough to really make it, like, worthwhile. Okay, this guy gets a promotion, so I'm definitely gonna take the, the defense against ranged attacks one here. He keeps getting hit with a lot of range attacks. And then over here, so we have eight turns until this goes to the Congo, so. We're really in no hurry, and then what I want to do is take both of these cities on the same turn. And let's get some settlers as well. Up here we can continue to just make warriors and stuff, but... Is it ever worth it to raise a city? So sometimes I say yeah. Um, the big time I would say whenever it's pretty worth it to raise a city is like really late into the game if you're going like domination and you're at the point where you're having a lot of amenity problems. This guy might just be dead, but I think he's dead either way. If he takes the city, okay, he didn't take the city, which is a bummer. Let's see, can we take both of these cities on the same turn? Yes, we definitely can. So this theoretically should be pretty good for the loyalty here. Will it be enough? That I don't know. This one might be okay. Now we have the problem of he's got all these stupid catapults. <laughs> Catapult, honestly, like the AI spam with the catapults is... Like, it sounds really stupid, but it works so often. 
Oh, actually, we're going to rebel in both of these cities now. In a few turns. God, the loyalty pressure here is just killing us. We have at least three turns here, we know. Maybe get a scout to look east. I probably should. I think that's where Egypt is, though. I believe. I could be wrong. Okay, this guy will get a promotion the next time he swings. Let's see if we'll make peace. He doesn't want to right now. Honestly, like I want what I want to happen is I want him. So whenever these cities rebel, I want him to then make peace. Because then we can kind of like keep these cities, probably, because we can just keep taking them from the free cities, but then we don't have to deal with him. There we go. Extra range defense there. So this city we might be okay in, actually. Alright, he wants to make peace. It's only two gold, but, like, I'll take that. It was luxuries like so, okay, that one goes down. Not really a surprise. Um, We're going to take Pingala. Loyalty here is still really, really bad. Not a surprise, though. Pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to just be in an, in, in an eternal cycle of just taking these cities. <laughs> it's not like a great thing, but... And it's not really an eternal cycle, I guess I should say. Oh, look, he actually helped us out there a little bit. All right, so yeah, once again, both cities have rebelled. We honestly probably really could use Victor here. Do you lose the unit in the city center when it rebels? No, you don't. Which is good. It just gets pushed out. <laughs> I could declare war on the Congo immediately again. As if I've had not had enough yet. I mean, these cities are going to be kind of crap now because we're going to keep taking them. Bronze is the. <laughs> Alright, let's get iron working here. We need more settlers. So we're definitely going to settle down here somewhere. Probably like right there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three, four. Um, we're gonna settle over here somewhere. Where can we settle? One, two, three, four. I guess we'll settle there then. Uh, maybe I'll settle over one more. And then one, two, three, four. Probably over there. Maybe we'll get one in there. Maybe we'll even take Mexico City at some point. I don't really know. Yeah, 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 you, you you don't get, you get virtually no XP from free cities, which does kind of suck, because they, they're kind of like treated like barbarian camps in a way. Let's get an encampment, since we are like fighting here. So yeah, like, I mean, like, once you get your first promotion on a unit, then you stop getting more, 
Like, so then every time you fight, you get one XP. Instead of the usual, like, three or whatever it is. More legs for Hui, yeah. It's kind of hard to get Hui Teokali sometimes, though. Why well, do we got a free builder? I'll take a free builder. Alright, well, we can take both cities again this turn. Keep. Keep. Uh, the loyalty pressure is just so bad in both of them still, though. Well, at least... Oh, it'll take seven turns for that one. This one's still only at three, though. So that's not good. We at least have, like, a little bit more time here. Can we buy the monument here? Or do we have to? No. I mean, we could repair the granary. Could get a trader. Yeah, let's buy the trader. What the heck? Use builder on citrus to make city happier. Yeah, what's actually co uh doesn't like the occupation. How many grievances do we have with this guy? 269. That's kind of a lot. So that's definitely like a source of quite a few. It also would help if we can just grow up these cities down here. Pardon. We actually absolutely cannot go into Dark Age next year. If we do, we are just like screwed. <laughs> Let's send this as an internal trade route, see if we can get any sort of, I don't know, growth or anything here. We also really need a campus, so let's get one. I was kind of hoping that, you know, settling that one extra city also might help a little bit. Which doesn't appear to have helped much at all. Is Congo in a golden age? They are not, no. They're in a normal age, so... I, I honestly don't know why it's so bad. Because, like, I mean, I get that their capital's right there, but we have, like, four cities here. So... Alas, though, tis the struggle. Meanwhile, I feel like every time somebody forward settles my capital, it's like, my capital rebels. <laughs> Just take out Congo's capital. It's so hard now, though, because they have crossbowmen. Because, like, their science is 17 and mine's 8, so... They're higher on military techs, which means it's pretty much impossible for me to get through their defenses. And there's really nothing we can do to... I mean, we can, like, get this. Which I guess will actually run. It'll help a little bit. We'll just keep, you know, keep doing this. The repelling cities are basically Stalingrad now. Yeah. The Lord made us all out of. All right. Well, we're probably gonna go into at least a normal age. If we're lucky, he'll go into a dark age. Oh, we already have a builder here. What am I doing? I guess we should start getting down campuses, though, right? I'll just put one there. Keep doing our thing over here, as we as we have been. Get another free builder. I mean, technically, we're just farming free builders off of this, so like, in a certain way, it's kind of worth it. All right, we're gonna rebel again. You just got this one though. Rebels in four turns. Is that good? I don't really know. All right, let's go settle some non-terrible cities. How about that? Eight turns for the monument. That's never happening. Now this 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 one's due to rebel now. So 
So let's just get ready for that, I guess. <laughs> oh my. It doesn't help that it's the Congo, so they have like a lot of population in their cities. Which means a lot of loyalty pressure. Alright, well that one's... Oh shoot, these are swordsmen now. That makes things quite a bit more difficult. I mean, I guess it's not awful, but it's not good. Let's just go to Palenque. Suppose we'll see what happens. around minus 25 a turn. No, it's not that bad. I mean, maybe over here. It's only 17 up here. Alright, now we're gonna have both of them rebel. Eternal cycle. Yeah, it pretty much is. That guy didn't re rebel that time? Thought I was supposed to. And guess what's gonna happen now? We're gonna take it again! Yay! And we're gonna put Pingala there again! Yay! Oh, it's only at minus two now, though. Honestly, that's not, like, terrible, terrible. It's just bad. Oh, a delegation from Cleopatra. And then this one rebelled again! Yay! <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. Oh, we might have done it, boys. This is significant progress. I mean, those guys hurt. I'm not gonna lie. Money. Those guys actually hurt quite a bit. Okay, 44 turns this time. All right, all right, all right. So we can definitely at least get ourselves into a normal age next turn if we absolutely need the two-era score. Try to boost population. Yeah. I need to do so somehow. So those lads hurt, but they don't really hurt like that bad. How many turns do we have? One. Okay, let's buy that galley then. Puts us in at least a normal age. Maybe if we're lucky, he will go into a dark age. I don't... Watch him go into a heroic age or something. Golden age. He just kills us. He's in good shape if this is deity. Yeah, this is deity. Unfortunately. Can't you see how much I just love deity? Thousands have lived with Okay, he is in a dark age. Whew. Got a little nervous there. <laughs> it could have been so bad if like if he went into a heroic age or something like that, like this would have been like just game over. I guess it wouldn't have been heroic age, but a golden age. I might actually lose one of my units over here. It's okay though. If I lose a sword or uh, a warrior at this point, I don't really care. I don't really plan on warring much anymore. Alright, well we can explore with this galley. There's plenty of flat coastline over here, which is also cool. Okay, yeah, that guy did indeed die. Let's go with this for melee, please. And let's vote for me. Kind of know me from the Wonder Spotlights. Oh, look at that. Alright, there we go. This one is still rebelling? Are you serious? You're, you're serious? Alright, well. There's really nothing we can do about that that much right now, is there? 
I mean, I guess we can shift Pingala around every once in a while. That's probably what the plan will be. Oh, I think this is... All, is this all free land over here? Is that free real estate? Do mine eyes deceive me? Oh, shoot, it's free real estate. Let's go. Alright, we got ten turns still rebellion now. It's not too bad. <laughs> this guy's already at 92 science per turn. That's cool. I mean, sure, we've shut down uh, the Congo's game, which I guess is good. We've also shut down our own game, though, which is <laughs> maybe not so good. Honestly, like, things really aren't that bad right now, though. Don't reinvent. Like, this is still, like, a perfectly winnable culture game. Okay. Things are stabilizing. Alright, let's get Pingala over there now. Was might, that might destabilize this one. No, actually it won't. Dang. And we do need a theater square. As far as where we're putting the theater square. I guess we'll put it like up here. I'll go for that, why not. And we just want a ton of theater squares right now. It's pretty much the plan. This guy can now go in the city center. Where's our other archer now? Let's put these guys in the city centers in case the Congo tries to declare war on me, which they actually very well may. Have you played a lot of the Ottomans? Uh, I've played a decent bit of the Ottomans. I wouldn't say, I don't think I would say I've played a lot, but I've played at least a bit. I mean, I, I really enjoy playing the Ottomans. The one I haven't played a lot recently has been Shaka. I really want to play more Shaka. Shaka's like pretty good. Divide and rule. All right, we're going classical republic now. Here we go. Here we go. Where is that? Let's run that for sure. Actually, we don't even need to go. So let's run literary tradition. Let's get us some great writers. Anybody else have? Congo has some great writer points, but not very many. Their music is choice, to quote Coupe. Who, the Ottomans? Yeah, I mean, like, the, the, the Ottomans have really, really good music. Okay, we our population grew, and now we are losing loyalty. That makes sense. <laughs> Best civ for Diplo? Uh, probably either Teddy or Canada. Like, it's without a doubt one of those two, but... As far as exactly which one, I'm not quite sure. Let's get a theater square down there, and then we'll put a campus there. Alright, we have a pretty decent looking empire here, I'd say. As far as more settling spots, we can do one there. And then... One, two, three, four. Maybe we'll do one over here. Seems pretty good to me. So we need how many settlers do we need in total here? One, two, three, four. We only need four more. <laughs> Whoops. Oh man, I keep spilling water recently. <laughs> like all over my mouse pad. I don't know what it is, but just it's happened a lot. Just water deficient for some reason. We missed the beginning. We're still asleep from yesterday. Wow. It's okay. You didn't miss too much in the beginning. It was just kind of me raging at Civ as I <laughs> as I tend to do a lot. All right, we're about to finish Temple of Artemis. That's when pretty dope. When I saw the house of Artemis that mounted to the clouds, those are the marvels lost their brilliancy. Those are the marvels said, lost their no, brilliancy. Apart from Olympus, the sun never looked on aught so grand. Beautiful. Temple of Artemis finished. 
It's a pretty decent one as well, because let's see. So camp. I forget. Does Temple of Artemis get from pastures as well? I can never remember. Temple of Artemis. Um, camp? Yeah, okay, it does. So one, two, three, four, five. So plus five Temple of Artemis? Wait, is this within? One, two, three. No, not. One, two, three, four, and six. Yeah, it's plus six Temple of Artemis. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's start getting these amphitheaters out. It really does kind of suck, I guess, that we we don't have the, the theater square next to Temple of Artemis, but we didn't really have much of a choice there with just how things were planned out originally. So. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll trade. I'll trade my stuff away for some gold. I will be nice to you now, Mbemba. Maybe eventually we can convert him with loyalty pressure. <laughs> Those who in quarrels interpose. Now the suzerain of Palenque. Oh, there's a... Uh, okay, so Egypt's actually north of the Congo. I think these are the Congo's only two cities, so I guess they're, they're playing a two-city challenge this game. This guy has 110 science per turn already. That's kind of spooky. <laughs> Luckily, we're friends with him, though, so who cares? I guess the only thing is that maybe he could win a science victory before we can win culture, but that's like so far down the road that I'm not even thinking about that yet. Colosseum can give a lot of culture? The yes, it can. Block. Wait, Colosseum doesn't give culture, right? Colosseum just gives amenities. <laughs> oh, actually, wait. Let's go for Huayte Okali. Oops, oops. <laughs> I can click the right thing. History is the version of history. history. All right, we can actually change our. Actually, wait a minute. We don't have to. I thought I was still, the, still running the uh, the governor loyalty one. That is simply not correct. Um. So this is like good farmland, I guess. That's also good farmland, though. Well, I want to get a commercial hub right now. I think. I don't know, it's tough. Yeah, I'm gonna get a commercial up. Got a delegation from the Congo. I'm honestly amazed that he's like not just hating me right now since I took his stuff. I'll trade my horses for some gold. I'm not really using my horses. Cyrus of Persia, that's a little spooky. He does he doesn't have that much culture per turn right now. Ninety six. So we really don't need a city up there, as long as we get, so one, two, three. We can get most of these for seaside resorts, which is really the reason why we settled this city. It's kind of like our, our seaside resort city. Alright, we can actually move Pingala out to a city that has more population, so that way... Let's move him to this one. That way we just get more science and culture out of him. So we're at a point with loyalty already where it doesn't matter. Like, he doesn't need to be there. Hey, it's a uh, I eat this. I don't know what your name is. But hello. What's up? Not too much. Just playing, you know. Playing some Civ. Not playing too terribly today. Like, moderately bad, but not horrible. So that's always a good thing, right? And we're going to go duplicates of... What do we have a lot of? We have a lot of... Uh, what's it called? Those things. It's not... Is it marble? It's quartz. What's the... <laughs> God, what are the names? What's the name of this resource? Oh, that's gypsum. That's right. Sure, we'll go, we'll go for that. Why do I never finish my games? It's not that I never finish my games, it's that I never finish my stream games. <laughs> it's quite often that I finish games, but just never really the ones that I start on stream. As far as why, I don't really know. 
Because a lot of the time, the games I play on stream end up not being really that good. <laughs> so, if I'm being totally honest. So I just never really have the motivation to finish them, I guess. Oh, Hatusa. Build some holy sites. Oh, thank you for pointing that out. Yes, I need to build some holy sites so that way I am just generating faith throughout the era. Also, I think I'm going to go into a dark age, which is real, real bad. Because <laughs> these two cities, here we go. Especially, hopefully the Congo don't end up in like a golden age or anything, because then I'm going to be really in trouble. But At night there was. Hopefully we'll be okay. We might be okay. Are we in? What, what even are we in right now? That's our thing. Okay, any Eurekas we can get? Killing him the Spearmen. Our great scientists build ancient walls. I mean, that's an easy one to get. Can we build ancient walls in the next few turns? Six turns? How many turns do we have until the era ends? Seven? Okay, well, that's one era score. Put an aqueduct. I mean, it's possible, but not that. Actually, no, we can't. Uh, well, I guess let's at least do that. Let's get... I guess let's get Liang. And let's just preemptively put her up here. Because I know that I'm going to have to... I know that that city is going to be having some loyalty problems in about three seconds. If I be she then... Use iron? Oh, that's a good point. Say, so if I upgrade this guy, it gets me one. Bing, bing, bing. Own two galleys? Oh, that is another one, is it not? Yeah. Um, so yeah, can we, how fast can we build a galley? Four turns. Well, that's a little bit not exactly ideal. Settle a, uh, settle a city. That gets us one. Alright, we actually might be okay, because this will finish. Our walls will finish in time. I think, right? Yeah, okay. Our walls will finish in time, so we'll be okay. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, Red Pill, how's it going? Why are we making a builder in the capital? I thought we were making a settler. Oh, that's right, we needed a builder because we are... We are, unfortunately, we don't have enough population to make a settler. Let's get a granary. And now, okay, actually, something else we did just put us. Oh, a major drought, though. That's kind of kind of a bummer. We can go for Huete Okali. So let's do just that. It's not exactly fast, though. Let's finish the builder that we were building up there. Actually, let's get, um, let's get Astrology, because we're going to need some should really put this on production focus, this city. <laughs> or not production focus, food focus, I mean. Still okay if Congo gets a heroic age? Yeah, that, that we can deal with, as long as we're not in a dark age. And yeah, we're both in normal, so that's okay. Guess we're gonna go for monumentality. Bum, bum, bum. Maybe, maybe we'll make our industrial zone here. Honestly, maybe we can do like Aqueduct and IZ. I just got an email, in case you were wondering. <laughs> yeah, that seems alright to me. I mean, we're gonna get rid of the cattle. It's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna have these guys just automatically explore. Quickly check to see what the email that I received was. Okay, it's 
It's just spam. Who's surprised? Just culture flip Congo? Yeah, that's... I mean, honestly, that's the goal right now. I mean, it's really hard to do that, though, with, like, cities like this. Because I have to get literally more than 30 great works to do that. Not saying it's not possible, but, like, the chance of me getting more than 30 great works is pretty, uh, you know, that's pretty slim. Get a theater square. Get a theater square. Ding, 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 ding. Boom, 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 boom. Bing, bing, bing. Oh, I'll put a theater square up there as well. All chat helping to get error score. I know, yeah, they're uh, saving the game. Set your course. Set your course by the stars. Oh, hey, it's Yerevan. Yerevan's a really good religious city state. We don't really have a religion, nor do we care about one this game. In peace, one is despoiled by... But they're still a good religious city state. All right. We'll try our best for Hoyate Kali. I don't think we're going to get it. But you never know. Maybe. Maybe the AI don't want it this game. Ooh, is that a free island over there? There is nothing but a plank. Alright, we can switch off of food focus now. So we just need more settlers. I don't want to get rid of these because they're kind of nice, but... Oh well. Does Way give amenities uh, to every leg tile next to it? Why did I put it there? Yes, it does. But the reason I put it here is because I'd rather get the extra culture on my holy or my theater square. Because I mean, already in that city, I'm getting a ton of amenities from um, Temple of Artemis. So like, the amenities don't really matter to me that much in that city. Oh, I think this is a free island over there. It might become our island. So actually probably will become our island. If there's nobody here. Zack the Last Airbender. I, I I remember just like I loved Avatar the Last Airbender, like the show. Not the movie. The movie was horrible. But like the show. Which is strange, because like I was never really much of, you know, like an anime type person. I'm still not an anime type person. But at the time, I at least liked that show. Is there really nobody on this whole island over there? Let's redeclare our friendship with you. Wow, that actually does look to be a totally free island. We might have to get some settlers. Few inventions. A good navy is not. A good navy is not a provocation to war. We do not talk of that hell spawn of the Avatar Last Ender movie. Yeah, it was bad. I like I I didn't watch the whole thing. I could not. I could not bring myself to do that. Hello, Japan. Where are you? Oh, are you, is this this continent, or is this something else? Well, you're everything on that continent, at least. Plus four holy, or, uh, harbor, that's pretty good. Speaking of which, we do need to get holy sites. I just remembered, again. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Your family watched it to see how bad it was, but you turned it off after 10 minutes? Yeah. It was just not good. 
How have we? I mean, never mind. We have gotten one great rider, right? Yeah, we have quite a few points as well. How much does Persia have? They don't have any great rider points. What the heck? Persia not have any theater squares? You, wait, you can build seaside resorts in your lakes? I thought you can only build them on next to uh, ocean. Am I wrong? Seaside resort. Can only built on coastal desert, coastal plains, or coastal grassland. I don't remember what... I thought that coastal means it has to be, like, adjacent to coast. Right? Like, not a lake. I'm, I thought... I'm pretty sure that you can only build them adjacent to actual coast tiles and not adjacent to lake tiles. Seaside resorts are crucial along with natural parks. I 100% agree. Like, as much as people like to, like, emphasize, like, um, like, great works and stuff like that, great works are really not as much of a part of a culture victory as things like seaside resorts and natural parks are. And even rock bands now. Rock bands are, like, a huge part of it. So don't ever under underestimate your rock bands. <laughs> seaside, like, next to, like, the sea. Not, yeah, it's not a lakeside resort. It's a seaside resort. Can't be next to no lakes. You crazy. Alright, well, evidently Persia's over there on that island. Do we want to square up with Persia? I don't really think we do. Let's make sure we're still friends with the Ottomans, also. We actually still can settle over there. Oh man, they've got some good land, I think, over here for seaside resorts in and the like. The more science. What's the settler? Okay, yeah, that's all. Pretty much everything here is minus twenty. <laughs> What about Miles freaking Davis? Yeah, can they uh, can they add me into the game as a great musician? Even though I'm not a great musician. <laughs> but you know, it's the thought that counts, right? Alright, well we still need at least one more of those. And because she was so beautiful. <laughs> I can, yeah, I can settle just below Candy without pressure, at least at the current moment. I want to see exactly, like, I don't think that this is his main continent, but I could be wrong. Oh, Scotland. Hello, Scotland. I have a delegation. If only you play Baba Yetu as your work. If you will be so I mean, yeah, that's true. They'll just put my saxophone cover of Baba Yetu as the thing. Even though it's not that good. Alright, let's make a, uh, what do you say we make a... Maybe let's make an economic alliance with him. Just because that'll be across oceans, which is really cool. Maybe we'll make a military alliance with Cleo. Oh, I just gave her five gold per turn. I didn't realize that. Oops. Maybe a research alliance with this guy. Alright, we can get our amphitheater. Alright, we finished our thing over there. Let's get a builder. Mm -hmm. right, I guess we'll vote for ourselves, and I guess we'll vote like I don't know ranged. I don't really care about that session. 
Cultural Alliance eliminates loyalty pressure, yeah, if I'm trying to settle it. That is true. I would have to get that with Persia, though, which Persia doesn't like me right now. Alright, let's get Aquaculture on the Aang. She probably doesn't even have to be there anymore. Let's put her down here in uh, Reigns. I'm sure that's not at all how you say that name, but... This lovely city down here. So these cities right here can have fisheries to kind of give them some food, because they're not going to get a lot of food since they have all these hills. Joint war on Hojo. I am not about that, sir. It is going to be important that we get up our flood barriers, because, like, these are really good seaside resort spots. But also, they're going to flood, like, very easily. Oh, we could build Chichen Itza. You know what, let's go for it. Let's see if we can get it. Chichen Itza normally is like not a it's not a great wonder. I mean it's it's kinda good, but like it's not it ain't all that, you know. Oh, too bad Cyruscus isn't here. He just oh he just found his favorite sieve. Poor Paris is still size 2. <laughs> the poor city. Mm, chicken pizza, yeah. Some people like to call chicken it's a ch Oh man, I just called it chicken it's a chicken it's a chicken pizza. Which is not it's not an unreasonable descriptor. At least not totally. So let's put me Nakshi Temple, kill uh, Angkor Wat. I don't really care about any of those. I saw a bang this is it about that time to start rushing for Eiffel Tower? The answer is yes. Oh, we got a another great a great lad. A real great guy. Nine on one this time I like that. Saint let's build Saint Basil's. Does chicken it's a get plus one production to I I don't know, I don't think so. Does this yeah, because this doesn't actually count as a rainforest tile, so it was a no. Can you tell I don't actually know the words? Alright, actually I was kind of surprised at the loyalty over here. Like, this isn't that high. I mean, it's just 12 because he has a governor. Out of this room. Hmm. If we can ever get to the situation where we're in a golden age and he's in a dark age, then, like, that would be pretty painful for him. We actually might be able to flip his cities then. It is known that. Mm -hmm. Chop some forest at Am Amboys. I don't think I have to. I'm gonna, you know, regret saying that, but like, I think it'll be fine. We could actually build Petra over here. I want to build Petra in La Rochelle, but like, it's a little bit easier said than done. Let's get a trader. Let's get a spy over there. Ooh, Zanzibar. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Just don't trade luxuries with him. AI is very bad at keeping him enemies. Yep. What's the benefits of the religion that's being spread to you? So that that's that's whenever you you get the the follower belief of that religion, whenever religion gets spread to you. Should we go settle up there? Let's go settle up there. Let's just see what it's like. What is life like up there? Hopefully that settler doesn't get taken by anybody, but <laughs> he very well may. Alright, I think we've had enough of settlers. We should get some more traders. Maybe we'll appoint Reyna somewhere. Sort by gold. 
The Congo actually is the highest gold there. Wow. We still need to get our holy site out somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely gonna put one there. I might put like two there. Problem is this city needs more population before I can get a holy site in it. Did I want that trade route for production for Petra? Oh, did I? I think I did, didn't I? <laughs> that's, that's the one that I bought, wasn't it? Okay, maybe I'm a little stupid. Thank you for pointing that out. I'm gonna buy another one now. But the wrath oh, look, we got Hui. Actually, was great. And as the sacrifice passed, that's actually kind of sick. Rooms dedicated to the sun, that's, that's not very often that I get that wonder. Or reappeared in the sky. What is life on an island which isn't settled by anything? Barbs, barbs everywhere. I know. The real use of gum. The barbs shall be all over the place. Okay, well, cool. We actually got... Whatchamacallit. Let's get a holy site. Plus three. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Let's get a granary there. That city actually needs housing. They need an aqueduct is what they need, actually. Have I played a game against Potato? I have never played a game against Potato, no. Maybe someday it'll happen. You'll uh, have to go spam, spam in his chat asking if, if uh, he'll play against me. A true showdown to see who is the who is the superior Civ player. I think I know what the answer is, but... <laughs> I almost definitely know what the answer is, in fact. But, you know, we might as well find out, right? Why didn't I put Hui in the center of the lake? So I really just wanted to get the theater square adjacency because like I already have Temple of Artemis in this city So this city has like pretty much no amenity problems. So getting one more amenity compared to getting two additional culture I just took I went for the two culture instead All right, wait this one needs to go here to get us Petra I'm gonna chop that also this guy's still on automatic exploration. Renaissance era ends in two towns. With your luck, you'll spawn in a tundra or desert against pe uh, potato. Yeah, probably. That's okay, though. It happens to the best of us, you know? Sort by production. There we go. Two food, three production. That actually helps out quite a bit in that city. Oh, I can build my first chateau. Chateaubriand. I've never had Chateaubriand. It's pretty much just like filet, but I don't know. I'm a, 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 a very big connoisseur of steak. Doubt if you will. Right, we're getting plenty of great works now. I never remember what the deal is with the chateau. What is, what is chateau? What is your deal? Plus one, plus two culture, one appeal, one culture for every adjacent wonder, one gold for every adjacent luxury resource. So it's kind of like not good. We're gonna put one right there though. That's a good spot for one. And it also give appeal to these tiles, which will eventually be seaside resort tiles. Hmm. Tamar has pretty good music, though. I'll at least give her that. It's not, like, one of my absolute favorites, but it's not bad. If you see a castle. How are the Congo doing? They're still in a normal age. A lot of people are in a dark age this year, actually. <laughs> so 384 gold from them. I guess we'll just spy on the Congo and steal some gold. I do suppose. And 
and B. Hicksunt uh, 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 Jacrones for settling the island. I didn't choose it. No, I didn't. I mean, I'm only going to settle probably one city on this island. So, like, it's really not worth it in the long run. We should put down the chateau just to see it. Because I feel like I very rarely ever build chateaus. We also do need to get towards Christo, like, moderately. That's not Christo, that's Christo. Honestly, we could probably build Eiffel Tower there. Because that'll be next to it kill. So we'll get at least a boost there. So how many tiles away? Is it nine tiles? Yeah, within nine tiles. Is this one within nine tiles? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, actually this one affects their cities as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, actually both of those do. Hmm. What do I like about Italy? I don't know. <laughs> hey, what the heck? Remember that. Actually, that's going to become ours, so I'm not even that mad. Thanks, Ottomans. And a tile. Well, that's actually a decent tile. Alright, now we can go gold for this one. Oh, that's why it was disrupted. Okay, well, I guess we're getting a free city in a few turns. <laughs> Look at that, I'll take it. Because the Ottomans are even in a dark age, so that's definitely going to become ours. Oh, there went my settler. <laughs> no, we tried. Oh, we also lost Petra. This has been a sad turn. All right, we can get some some mad production in this city. Hmm. And in one turn, we get Mbanza Congo. Ah, uh, we didn't get Chicken Itza either. Oh, plus four Holy Site. It's also a plus four Campus, though. Let's go for the Holy Site, though. I didn't try. I had a ship. Oh, I yeah. I kind of just let it sail around. Well, actually, I, th I think he got taken on land, because I think he landed, and then he got he got killed by the barbs. Man, this is making it very different, difficult to keep my trade routes going. <laughs> How's the loyalty like in this city? It's actually pretty close to unstable. We're going to be finishing some art museums. Hmm. Where did I find a goodie hut? Oh, all the way down there. Having seen a non marketing Alright, we probably don't okay, what are we doing with our policies? These are so bad. <laughs> oh jeez. Alright, we'll run that. Let's go triangular trade. That gets us faith as well. Maybe we'll run that. We got our first great musician already? What the heck? You get a harbor? Is Mausoleum still available? What's the requirement? It must be adjacent to a harbor owned by this city. Let's put a harbor there and then maybe we can Mausoleum. Oh, we actually got... What did we get? Killwa? Is that what that is? Yeah, it is. Look at that. Nowhere to put our great work of music just yet. Hmm. There's a Congo settler there. Maybe we could take that, too. If you're receiving religious perks to offer a boost of your culture, it may be worth spawning an apostle for religious combat. Wait, what? My first seaside resort will be on a lake. I'm pretty sure you can't put him there. Mm 
Chundukutu. Ooh. Got oh, another great work there. Yeah, we're friends, Scotty Land. I think Ottomans might take this city too, which means it's just good for us. We get more stuff. So maybe we'll vote for this for like Robert the Bruce or something. And we'll go scientific again. Is it worth the lower loyalty when Congo gets the plus four? It might be. The problem is we're not removing any per turn, so removing loyalty from the city isn't really going to do anything right now. Oh, let's become the Susan of Rapa Nui. That way we actually get some, some more good stuff from all of our amphitheaters. How does Persia have 237 freaking culture? I don't think they have a single... Uh, okay, they have one theater square, but they have 200 culture per turn. Uh, sometimes the AI, whenever they get, like, unique um, tile improvements, they're just insane with the AI because of, like, the percentage-based boosts. It's like each Pyuri dies off is probably, like, four culture, and he can just build an endless number of them pretty much. Well, not an endless Don't number. Judge but... Closer are we to Eiffel Tower? We're still six techs away. How many civics away are we from? I mean, we're six civics away. And we just got another great artiste. Which will give us three more. So what's this at? This is at 18, and we're at what? Six plus seven? So we're at 13 right now. Let's pull it at 16. Oh, we're going to get two more now. I'm getting so, so many. Too bad uh, Antana and Revo is not in this game. Otherwise, we would be going insane. Oh, the Rebellion. Rebellion in 13 turns. Um, sure, we'll make a cultural alliance. I'm just kind of saying whatever for these alliances. It doesn't really matter to me now. The human race. All right, there we go. We have now greatly surpassed them. So this becomes ours in nine turns. Or maybe they'll take it first, and then we'll get it afterwards. But either way, it's going to become ours. Human nature. Human nature. As Eleanor, couldn't you use um, raiders to lower, lower pillage and lower lower? Wait, what? I mean, you can pillage, but that pillaging itself doesn't lower loyalty. What do I build in this city? I have literally no idea. I don't want to make an industrial zone because we already have one there. Maybe just a campus. Holy site? We already have holy site. Camp as it is. Oh, seven turns till rebellion now. What was the thing that won in the World Congress? Oh, it did win scientific. I'm always a little bit confused as to how that one works. So what does that do actually for our science output? It gives us three extra. But that was only because of the thing. Plus 100% of the city-state's yield type when sending trade routes to a city-state of that type. So 100% what? It doesn't give us 100% science. Does it just mean for the trade route? That's 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 one of those... One of those dedications that I really just don't understand. The Ottomans are pillaging so much. They really do not like the Congo, I guess. And I mean, I guess in a certain sense, it's partly our fault because we kind of, we kind of knocked the Congo out by the kneecaps at the very start. Oh, the city is actually, we might make Mexico City rebel if we get more great works. Because they're at, what, what are they at right now? So negative six, negative seven, 13. So we need seven more great works around and then they rebel. Wow. Um, let's 
get a casual theater square out, just like slap it down, I guess. There is Raina right now. She's down there in Paris. We don't really want her in Paris. Let's put her up in Mbanza Mbata. That's pretty good for us. I don't think we really even need it right now, but I'm going to start running it anyways. How should you play Norway? By not playing Norway. I hope that answers the question. You're not getting any demands, nerd. Yeah, I'll trade with you, though. Oh, two turns and then we get Mamba. Oh, wait, did somebody build Mausoleum now? That kind of makes me sad. I found out, when, in a game that I was playing canon, I found out that Mausoleum can really be insane when you're going for culture victory, because there's um, some of those great engineers will give you extra appeal on the tiles. And if you can use that twice, you can get, like, within a city with a bunch of natural parks, or national parks, you can get so much. Hey, Metroid nerd. Alright. So I'd say that this game is going pretty well. This poor spy that keeps getting pushed around everywhere because everything keeps dying whenever they try to stay somewhere. Alright, well, off to them we go. There's another free island down there. I guess we can go settle there. Maybe. Not really any good seaside resort spots. Colonialism. We are on a continent split, right? Oh, wait, I thought we were. No, never mind, we're not. I'm just tripping. Candy is the perfect canal city. Wait, where even is Candy? Oh, I know, yeah. Literally, like, saws the continent straight in half. All for the explicit, expressed purpose. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Didn't realize we were getting that city too. The pen might not. But I mean, hey, what in wrong, right? <laughs> and we got another great person. They don't have a theater square up there yet. I'll come over here though. I beheld. How did I gain that city for free? My religion? No, yeah, with Eleanor's ability. Oh, we got another one! I guess I'll keep that one too. Why not, right? I'm getting all the arrow score. Alright, we can put like Liang or something over there. Hopefully. It doesn't quite stabilize it, but it gets pretty close. And then we could just buy. Let's buy a monument. Maybe we'll buy a granary. Domination victory with pressure flipping? I'm not trying to, but it's kind of happening a little bit right now. See, like, Eleanor, once you get rolling, like, is actually pretty good. Problem is getting rolling on Eleanor sometimes. Her early game is not, like, one of the stronger ones. So what you have to do is just be like us and just be really rude and, you know... Shove yourself in people's faces. I really want to get a golden age. Anybody have any ideas how I can get a golden age? We need five era score. Is the city still losing? Yeah, it still is. Wow, we have about 200 culture per turn now. It's going up quite heftily. 
Circumnavigate. Oh, good point. Good point. It's a little tough because we actually can't navigate ocean, open ocean right now. And we only have a few turns left to do it. Okay, this is like not very good for that spy. He has... How much science does he have? Oh, only a modest 210. What I like about cities is that everything is... I mean, I guess ours actually isn't that bad right now, but... Let's get at least one archaeological museum. It's always a good idea to get at least one, that way you can get rid of... Um, like, any things anytime they're in the way. Bang. Well, Persia is building Halicarnassus. As not, not the mausoleum thereof, but... Just Halicarnassus on its own. So we'll just get a bank. We have to fix all this other junk too. One thing we can do is we can buy a great person. I mean, like, none of these, like, honestly, I might just buy this. That way we get the error score from it. Except we can't now because we just actually got them. <laughs> well, darn. We tried though, right? I'll get a harbor. I don't really know what I want to do with this guy. I guess I'll send him to there. Oh, that's a lot of gold to steal. I'll go steal from them. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down my spine. I don't know why that came into my head randomly, but alas, here I am. Oh, uh, we're kind of close to circumnavigating, but I don't know. We have five turns left to do it. Getting it normally gets you plus one error score. And if you buy, it's two or three. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, there we go. We got ballistics, enough. which formally put us... Oh, I don't think we could... No, we have to be able to circumnavigate, right? Can we theme? I don't think we can theme right now. We don't have enough, enough works. Uh, there are no barbs near me. At least not immediately. Oh, there we go. Okay, plus one from that. What? That didn't give us error score? I thought that always gives you error score. Or did it? Did it just not show up? No. Oh, it just gave us the one for actually getting them. Oh no, we have two turns. Oh, our F in the chat for candy, but... Oh, come on. Two error score, please. <laughs> chat, SOS. I need two more. That's it. And I have two turns. Are any of our traders gonna finish? Because I think that's our thing right now. Seven, twelve, no. Can we upgrade anybody? Oh, wait, hang on. If we get Niter, we can upgrade somebody. A hundred and thirty-six gold. All right, well, you know what we're doing, chat. We take a hundred and thirty-six gold per turn if we order them in bulk. But if we buy them individually, no, no, no. Once again, I really wish that this was fixed. Because this is just irritating. But alas, here we are. Uh, we only have to do this about 15 more times. I want to die. Oh, shoot. Oops. I like how every time he goes. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. How many are we at? We have to be close, right? I'll go down to like... I'll do five more. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. How many are we at? Alright, we have 24. 
All right, that's 112. Okay. Do we have... How many turns do we have? Two. The unique unit. Oh, shoot. Well, we don't have it yet. Can also still get your own nighter. Can I? It all works on natural. Well, I know what we can do now, though. We could say a thousand gold, and boom, we've done it. That was not really worth it, but like, in terms of the actual great person. But in terms of actually, you know, just getting the stuff, pretty worth. It. And now here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Seasides and re resorts on lakes for the air escort. It's not possible. God dang it, man. I'm in a golden age. Egypt's in a normal age. What do we take? I think we take Heartbeat of Steam, right? Yeah, because we want those wonders. Because it's almost going to be Eiffel Tower time. It is. Okay. Well, I think that's actually probably where we're going to end it here for the stream today. We, this is a game that we definitely will continue next week, though. So, I'll be looking out for that next... Actually, uh, maybe not next week, but maybe two weeks from now. Because I don't... I probably won't be streaming next week, just because my family's coming to visit. So, in two weeks, though, probably will be streaming, and we will continue this game. So, thank you for everybody that stopped into the stream today, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, we actually didn't... We had a pretty okay stream today. Not playing, like, total total garbage. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all have a good day, and I will see you next week, or maybe in two weeks, sometime.